What up, guys? It's the Black Tech Experience, and today I got the most embarrassing L of my career, which is my internship with Google. And so, yeah, let's just get into it. So, to give you some background on, on me, I went to Fisk University, and I was originally in a math major. And I took a computer science class. I uh, was doing well in the class, and they they wanted us to, I remember, sign up to get interviews. And then me, at the time, I didn't feel like I was worthy of having a Google interview, right? Like, Google was such a big, it still is a big company. And so I was just, I was procrastinating, and I procrastinated, and I waited to the last minute, and I didn't sign up. And then I was like, man, like, maybe now that it's not, you know that i can't sign up anymore let me try now <laughs> and they didn't they didn't give me an interview i didn't even get a chance right like and that was a good that was a lesson for me that i couldn't um on bullshitting like people you know people don't care like you you need to you need to do stuff on time and still to this day like i still be bullshitting and i bullshit a lot less but yeah let's just say that and so, but it, it ended up working out. Like I ended up going on one of that summer. So and maybe that's the story for another time. But I saw my friend, he got into Google as an intern his freshman year, right? And man, I just thought like getting into Google was impossible. So I was like, how did this dude get in there, right? And it's sometimes, you know, like when you see your friend do something, you realize like, man, maybe this is possible for me too. So the second year, I really like studied, like I was getting extra time after class, working with my teachers, signed up for the interview process on time, right? I remember, I don't remember the exact questions. There were no data structures and algorithms, but um, they, asked me, they asked me these questions. I was able to answer it. I remember I was so scared in the interview, like acting like a little child, which is probably not the best formula for success, but I got in, which was, uh, I never, <laughs> I remember the excitement of it all, just like screaming and stuff. And yeah, this is like the historical moment in my life. And I just remember my time at Google being such a blast, right? Like I come from Memphis, Tennessee, like, um, and this was, I, I got to go to London the last time, but, um, so I was a little bit familiar with um, how big this world is, but Seattle is the whole, it's the opposite culture of where I come from, right? There, There's like a naked parade here, which I thought was hilarious. Like it's such a like hippie vibe where in Tennessee it's very conservative. So um, uh, I don't like not judging anybody, but it's just, it was just a different cultural shock and like, I met so many friends from Stanford, um, um, Morehouse, like I was living right next to this guy. Um, yeah, and Howard University, other HBCUs, I met people from Harvard and it was crazy. I was there with them and coming from Fisk. I think in my school, we have this air of like, everything we are is trash, but, or at least when I was going there, like we just, talk shit about our school but no there's a lot of great things going on at this even to this day and yeah like hiking doing all these different things that i never do maybe i'm showing oh yeah i'm looking at some of my pictures guys and i was a skateboarder back in the day i don't even do that anymore i think i fell off too many times and had the afro not looking very professional it doesn't really matter but yep um just a huge blast. And so for the struggling part, right? Like I was, of course, like writing code for homework assignments and writing code for the premier company of software engineering is like two different levels. And I did not do well. I remember like submitting code, um, and I think I had a, like a merge conflict and not really looking into it. It was just like, to be honest, I feel like I was just overwhelmed with 
all the different things that I had to learn. Like I was learning C++ for the first time. And then at Google, the standard for coding, they have like style documents. Like you can't even write code in your style. You have to write in their style. And then you have to have two or three reviewers. And I was working on operating systems uh, or a, a performance tool um, and web development, a whole bunch of things I've never seen in my life. And I was being asked to to contribute at a high level. And I think it was it was good for me to, to attempt, but I needed a lot of help along the way. And sometimes, um, yeah, I just I, I remember doing a lot of embarrassing things uh, that got on my manager's nerves. And yeah, uh, I think it was kind of funny. It was like I think we we're in there six months. Like they called me in like in the seventh or eighth month and they're just like, yeah, you're not doing well. <laughs> you're not doing well. And, uh, uh, and I remember like two weeks before that, I was like, I was asking, I was like, man, like something feels off. Like I'm not really like working that hard, right? I'm not really, something feels off to me. It's like, calm down, chill, like it's okay. And then like two weeks later, like, yeah, we need to, you gotta have a performance review. You're not doing that well. and. Yeah, it kind of sucks because it's like, uh, I guess my, I had, I had two managers, I guess you could say it were in, in the, the right terms, it was EP host. It's like one of them was good cop, one of them was bad cop. <laughs> and one of them always to this day, I'll never forget, he told me, it's like, Rami, you've come a long way in just three months, right? And I was like, uh, even to the, man, I can't tell you guys how many times I've wanted to quit my career. Um, and I just remember that this PhD in computer science, this super elite dude said that I, if I kept, if I stayed in this career long enough, that I was going to be special. I was going to have a great career. And um, the other guy, I guess you could say the bad cop, he was more critical of me, more um, willing to uh, uh, to inspire me to work the harder, I guess. Like he said, um, I'll never forget, it was like my last day at Google. And he said, you come a long way, but you got a long way to go. <laughs> and I was like, Ugh, fuck that guy. <laughs> I hope he watches my channel. So, no, 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 like, I was thinking, like, I'm going to be back here next year, bro. Like, I'm going to put this work in. Like, I don't even believe that. Like, or this is what I was feeling at the moment. Like, guys, I can't even tell you how many hours I put into this career. I remember um, the next summer I was interning at Dell. And like all of my friends were going out to like party and do their thing on Friday night. And I remember like just staying in my room, practicing, cracking the coding interview and like, like tears streaming down my face. Cause I'm like, I'm obviously not taking care of myself as a holistic human being, but I just wanted to come back so bad and rewrite this wrong. Um, and you know what the funny thing that happened was uh was uh what happened oh they didn't even interview me like i feel like the feedback that was written about me was so bad that they didn't even give me a chance to interview my junior year or no no, no my senior year. i couldn't come back right i did bad so i couldn't come back my junior year and then my senior year, I didn't even have an opportunity to interview. I think they just read the feedback about me and they're like, nah, we're not giving this dude a chance. And I know a lot. But man, I could just, it's kind of sucks. But yeah, that's feedback. For, even to this day, like somebody at Google could write, could look into the feedback about me that was written about me as a software, a sophomore. And yeah, I'm, I, I, I don't, I don't want to say too much, but yeah, this, it sucks how like things follow you to this day. So yeah, uh, a little bit into that. It's just like, yeah, it's, um, let me see. I'm gonna look at my notes. Forgive me guys. 
the path I've been doing. Yeah. I think that moment in my life really inspired me to work hard in computer science. It's funny how some of the times when we lose, it really, we win at the same time because when I came back, I switched from being a math major to computer science major and I, I, I was holistically in the game now. Like this was not something that I was maybe, this was something that I wanted completely, especially since like being a math major back in the day, um, there, there, I didn't know there was no upside for being a math major. You always had to get a PhD. And, um, I was like, if you guys are going to work me this hard, like I'm going to at least get paid. So, but, um, since then I've interviewed with Google three times and each time I failed. And I think the second time was the craziest. I think I did the best. Like I remember like answering all their questions, like the guy, um, if you don't know about the Google interviewing process, it's really tough, right? It's like having six math tests. And like, if one person says you failed, then you fail all, it doesn't matter what you did in the other like five or they'll, um, that's good enough for them to say no. And then on top of that, like, I remember this guy, right? He showed up late and then you know, he asked me some binary search tree questions in the beginning and he kind of like uh, had to like prod me into giving the right answer. And then I wrote it down. I submitted the answer and then he, he we were we were coding on a Google Drive. And then he was like, when I put the Google Drive code into the compiler, it didn't work. So this is the reason why, you know, I don't think this guy is that good. I'm like, bro, like, if you gave me an editor and a compiler, I could have fixed that code, but you really, you know, marked me off and you, you know, I'm thinking this, like, this is the information I got years later, um, about that process. It's just like, man, just such a high bar. And, um, yeah, I don't think Google is in, oh, oh, my bad. <laughs> I think my phone is dying, but yeah, I, I don't think Google is in my cards in this lifetime. Unfortunately, I, I don't think the wind is blowing that way, but, um, it's fine. Like I appreciate, I even, I've met, you know, the good cop, bad cop from my Google, um, situation and they follow me on, um, they follow this channel and they support me with any questions that I have. And I, I love them both deeply. Like, man like sometimes the people sometimes people stand in front of you right sometimes teachers are not always just going to help you in my life sometimes they stand in front of you and hold a bar of excellence for you to jump over and um although i didn't return to google that year i'm in seattle working at another fan company and i know they're both proud of me uh, um, and I shouldn't be embarrassed because I, I, I really have a lot. I feel very inspired by Israel Adesanya and they asked him when he lost, uh, he's a UFC fighter. When he lost, they said, um, he had a great quote on losing. He was just like, I've lost in love. I've lost jobs. Like I've lost in kickboxing. It's like life is not all about winning all the time. And I know some of you guys look up to me and see me as this genius, but I promise you behind the scenes, I take a lot of, um, let's call them lessons. <laughs> I've been taking a lot of embarrassing, humiliating lessons. And, um, but it's part of my journey. And I hope that if you guys have lost or I mean, uh, we're not even going to say the L word. If you guys have had, um, any moments where you have fell short of your goals that you have used that as inspiration to get to where you are now. And so, yeah, let me know in the comments, what is your most embarrassing lesson in your career in tech? Um, or maybe just in your career in general, if you're not in tech just yet.
and let me know how that inspires you to be um how that lesson has helped you grow um into wherever you are now but thanks again for watching um keep on the lookout for more content peace